Go fish golf. Dan, tell us about the rules. Each player is allowed to remove one club from their opponent's bag per hole. You can only remove a club once it's been played. So you gotta be tactical about what you use off the tee. Are you gonna use your putter on the first green? It's gonna be really interesting. Shall we get into it? Got a 344 meter par four. I'm gonna start with the five iron. Mmm, that's what I was thinking. I wanna keep some distance for the par five and some longer par fours. That's how you turn a par four into like a par six. Where's this old hickory club come from? I think it's a wood or something. Uh, I got it for three bucks at an op shop. I barely ever use it, so I think it's a good one to whip out in the first and let Liam <laughs> remove it from my bag if he so chooses. I'm never removing that thing. That's gonna be the last thing. You're gonna be putting <laughs> with that on the sixth. I'm pretty happy with that, to be completely honest with you guys. Dan's discovered that he can now hit a five wood that cost him $3 better than any other club in his bag. I don't want to take it away from him because he's going to absolutely shank it one of these times. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, four hybrid over that tree. Oof. Oh, I've never seen it go that way before. So I'm about 180 away. I'd normally use my four iron, but I, I'm gonna need that later in the round. I know I know Liam's uh, thinking about stealing that from me. So I've got a five iron here. I'm just gonna whack it. Last minute switch up. I'm going for my five wood thing again. Oh my God. If I said I was angry with that, I'd be lying. Gotta be careful with what clubs to use now. I've already hit my five iron, so I'm gonna use the five iron again. I'm saving my nine iron, <laughs> my pitching wedge, for later in the round. I right, got a bit of sheep shit that I don't think I can move. Jeez, that's pretty good. I can't be mad with that. I've uh, repeated the use of a club, which was one of my strategies coming into this and see what Dan can do. So I'm about that far away, pretty close. So I've got a, an old wedge that I got for like free. I really don't mind if Liam steals this one from me. And I'm gonna start a GoFundMe to get Dan some new clubs. <laughs> Looks good, roll out. It's pretty good, Dan. The real question is, are you gonna use your putter? We'll find out, won't we, Liam? We'll find out. I'm gonna use the five iron. Jeez, that's not bad at all. Oh, it's gone pretty far though. Wow, it's almost like I had a five iron. Back to the four hybrid. I'm gonna make a comeback on the last few holes, I think. Maybe I've gone aggressive with using bad clubs. Oh, that's not bad. Hey Liam, you got any hybrids in your bag? <laughs> I hope so. Go fish. Oh, go fish, she's gone. Get rid of it, mate. <laughs> I have a par putt and I'm using my old wedge again. Bit of a knee wobbler. Smooth. Ogie! Dan has removed my four hybrid from the bag. Oh, which club would you like to remove from my bag, Liam? The wedge. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, what the am I gonna do? free wedge is gone. <laughs> Got 175 meter par three into the wind. I'm gonna hit a three iron. Three iron? Oi. I'm gonna expose it. No tee, just vibes. Stinger! That went exactly as I wanted it to, just a little bit more left and a little bit less far and... I've got a four iron here. I can see Liam's lips salivating right now. I've got to get it there somehow. It's up there somewhere. I might let you keep it. I don't have a four hybrid in the bag. Dan doesn't have his crappy old wedge, but he can't hit a 60 degree, so it doesn't really matter. I'm wondering <laughs> what he's going to do around the greens here. Dan hit that tree. Look at where this jammy little bugger is. That's what a good old four iron will get you fellas. <laughs> I am going to use a nine iron from here. Little bump and run. Worked Not out. my best work. Ooh, he's thinking. <laughs> Ooh I'm gonna go pee wedge. Now what I'm thinking is, I wanna use a few of my good clubs on the same hole. So you can only take one and then it will reset for the next hole, you yeah, know you what I mean? Oh, that's good. That is good. Got a chance to get a shot back here and take Dan's four iron out of his bag. I could use a putter, 
but then Leo might steal it and that would make me sad. Or I could use a 60 degree, which I'm not very good at using. I will be using a 9-iron again. Nice shot. Bogey putt. That's good. I'm going for the P-wedge again. Not time to waste the putter. Oh. oh. People on the tee box behind me. I get mentally anxious, that's terrible. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna take four iron. You bastard! It's the only club he, he can hit. I'm gonna remove your pitching wedge from your bag. How do you feel about that? After four putting with it, I really couldn't care less. I'm selling a pitching wedge, it's a golden bear. How much is it going for? I'll Three. pay you, I'll pay you to take it away from me. Hey Liam, what do you got in that hand of yours there? You got the big stick. I mean, I need to win. So I'm going to use my best clubs on this hole. I'm going to hit a driver right to where they're standing. I'm going to hit a five iron onto the green. I'm going to use my putter and get a birdie. And you're going to have to choose which of those sensational clubs in my bag am I not allowed to use again. We're going to be tied up after this hole, mark my words. It's really good. I've got my $3 five wood. I don't think Liam believes me that I'm good at it yet. And neither do I, to be honest. one of the weirdest shots I've ever done eh? But that was like a 60 degree. That was a weird shot by you. I mean, it's not terrible. Like, you've just got to lay up now. The problem is it's sowing the mental doubt in the five wood with you. It is. So the green is around the corner to the left there. I've got no chance in getting that. So I'm going to hit a seven iron over that tree and just lay up. Oh, you got through, but... I made it through, but it's not pretty. 160 with a little with a little cut. Is that in the locker? Do I have that club left in the bag or is Dan taking it? Five iron, I'm going for it. Oh, I think he might have done it. I mean, I couldn't have hit it any better. I just will have to go up there and see what happens. If you look in between these trees, you'll see a flag there. Uh, and if you look down here, you'll see my ball. I can't go over that at all. Yeah. I technically could go through there, but that's so stupid. I'm literally just gonna have to like knock it 20 meters into the fairway here. Oh, I'm just gonna use my 7 iron again. Shot. Up and down for par. I got a 60 degree. Get there. Oh god. Next to Liam's ball. I'm there for four and he's there for two. I need to hold out for par here. Liam's somehow hit like a miracle shot over those trees to like three meters off the green. Eggs. I'm on the green. I'm gonna use a putter. Am I crazy for thinking of using a five iron again? Why am I doing this to myself? Putter. This is the birdie part because I've just hit the best shot of my life followed up by a stupid decision. Sums up my goal. That's so, so short. Dan, Dan, I was here for two on a 450 meter shot. I know. Bogey putt. I just finished with the bogey after being five meters from the hole after two shots. Um, I got one shot back though, because Dan had a shocker as well. I'm gonna take your putter. I think it's a no-brainer. I'm gonna get rid of your putter too, mate. All right, no putters. I've three putted every hole so far, so. All right, <laughs> including using my putter. Maybe my driver will be a better putter. We got a par four. I'm gonna use the big stick. Very happy with that. Wow. It's quite fun hitting driver. Look at that. Middle of the club. Is that what it's been to look like? Congrats. I've got a 7 iron. 130 away. Close to the green. I don't have a P wedge anymore, do I? Nope. 58 degree from 90 meters, does it go that far? I'm gonna just go a nine iron. Just a nice, comfortable nine iron. Too comfortable. <laughs> Bumping around nine iron. <laughs> Wasted a good chip there.
30 meters away, got a pitching wedge and a 60 degree. I'm gonna go with a pitching wedge. I don't trust that thing anymore. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna be putting with my pitching wedge. Looks like there's a steep ridge over the back so I can't really go long. Maybe I'll just go for a two putt here. This is uh, my par putt. That's incredible. Yes! Putting with that 9 iron again. Oh. I think I've established I can't putt with no matter what the instrument is. No matter the tool. No matter the tool. The tool isn't the issue here. What club do you want to take away from me? I'm going to get rid of your driver, mate. Wow. Yep. You're giving me that 9 iron after I just performed so well with it. <laughs> yep. I'm going to take your driver. No drivers, no putters for either of us. Dan also doesn't have his 4 iron, and we've got a par 5 now. Oh, God. Are you copying me? I'm driverless, I'm 4 ironless, and I'm putterless. I've whipped out my $3.5 five wood, and it's done me pretty well so far, I will say. Oh my gosh. Tickled the fence on the way past, eh? Just gonna hit a five iron over that mud. Um, praying the five iron will have enough club to get over there and not slice. Take an aggressive line at the tree, it will fade off. It's gonna work. I love how I say fade off as if it's not just a horrific slice with the divot coming in like that direction as I like chop down on the ball like an absolute sashimi chef. I'm gonna hit a low three iron under these trees and kind of towards that pile of dirt over there. Ow! Oh. Wow! Oh, that hurt. Look at that. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> Who says golf's not a contact dangerous sport? Sorry, Mother Nature. I can see the green. I'm gonna use my five wood again. I've used my five wood more today than I have ever in my life. Yeah, I'm not going to make it there, am I? So I'm just going to smack this thing as hard as I can. What the fuck? This Gosh. might be my new favorite club. Dan hit the best shot of his life again with that five wood that cost him three bucks. I might look into that. <laughs> and I tore every single thing in my left shoulder, lower back, upper back, wrist and ankle somehow. Three iron, 180 meters to the green. Get on the dance floor. Oh, well, like, I don't know if you saw that, but it actually went like that. I was just obviously lined up all terribly and everything, but confidence. 70 meters away. I got a pitching wedge. Just a little choke down. 70 percenter onto the green. Oh wow. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, Dan pretty much has a gimme putt, which I'm not going to give him. I now need to chip in with the 58 degree for par. First time I'm using it in this format. I really think not only has my golf been terrible, my strategy has been terrible. Oh, that's a good shot. That is a good shot, mate. Somewhere deep, deep inside me, there's a golfer. So we're decent at golf now, Dan. What do you think is easy to putt with, a three iron or a 58 degree? I've three putted every hole so far. If I three putt from here, you know, I really don't deserve to even be in the golf cart, let alone the competition. <laughs> it's better than a normal putt. Yeah, I got a birdie putt from here. I'm somehow pin Heisman. Some call me Penny Neutron. I got a pitching hand, a pitching hand in my wedge. That's good, mate. That was a par without a putter. Was that, you, a, was that a putterless par? That was a putter without a, uh, that was a par without a putter. You got that right. That was a par without a, a putter. Okay, last hole. Dan now has a three shot lead. I'm gonna take away that five. Oh, you bastard. Yeah. I think his biggest club is a five iron or a six iron now. Now it's a five iron. You've got two options for getting distance, a three and a five iron. I'm gonna get rid of your three iron. Brilliant. Still got my three wood. The green is somewhere over that hill, so I think we're about 250 meters straight and 40 meters left. I don't have my driver, so I can't go tiger line. If I had my driver, I would go tiger line. I wouldn't get there. Um, so I'm just going to go three wood at that big tree there. Oh, mate. Three shot lead for Dan. He's got a five iron or a six iron to tee off with. 
330 meters to get there. Let's see what, if I can produce some magic, put some pressure on him on the green. So Liam's uh, played this whole round strategically. He didn't use his three wood once this whole game. I forgot it even existed and I couldn't even take it anyway. So smart from Liam. I've got no choice but to hit my five iron, get it as far as I can. Oh, that's a perler. Oh, tree trouble maybe. Oh. I might be behind a pot plant, but I think I'll survive. <laughs> Struck really well though. Thanks Liam. I'm gonna to have to probably hole out or at least birdie to make things interesting. We're driving up to this ball now. There's a, a small chance, a glimmer of hope it's behind a pot plant. Found it. Ah, oh, far out. Boing. And it's 170 meters away, so I'll use the six iron, cut off a bit of that hill, and just hope I'm like near the green. I've got a bit of a, a bit of trouble here. I'm gonna to have to slice it a bit, I think. I've kept my two best clubs, my three wood and my seven iron in. I'm 125, 135, I actually have no idea. Going right over that stump, chipping this in for two. You think too far right? I think it's just a bit far. All right, Dan, All right. that is <laughs> so lucky. Oh my gosh. So close to going OB in yeah. either of these ditches. He somehow landed there. I've got a 60 degree, I'm just trying to get it Kind of just on the green, and I'll be happy. That's such a great shot, wow. About five meters from the pin. Hitting my fourth shot for par. But there was a par without a putty. Basically, if I get a, a par or a bogey, I win. So, I'm a 60 degree. Oh my God. Well played, Dan. Thanks, Liam. Good stuff out there, mate. Dan just finished up there with the bogey. I was just behind us here for, I was gonna have my fourth shot. Absolutely demolished me strategically and in the golf. Uh, I think go fish is your game, man. Let us know what you think of go. <laughs> Let us know what you think of go fish golf. Dan's probably gonna start a world championships. If you're in Finland watching this, if you're in Estonia watching this, if you're in Kenya watching this, and you think you're good at go fish golf, let Dan Harris know in the comments. He's coming for you. If you wanna apply, drop a like and comment and subscribe yeah. to the channel and that counts as a uh, application to the world series yeah. of uh, go fish golf thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time